On old maps, this place was called Heaven. This is the land northeast of Buckbarn Crossroads, where the council's draft local plan proposes an allocation for a 3,500 house development by Thakum Homes. In the Times, the leader of Horsham District Council described the land as ordinary, boring fields. It is anything but. This site contains some of the rarest habitat in Sussex. Gill woodland, rich in ferns, mosses and other moisture-loving plants, and a dynamic floodplain. The land functions as a wildlife corridor, a vital stepping stone between the rewilding project at Nep and other areas of high nature value to the north, including St Leonard's Forest and Ashdown Forest. Here's the wonderful floodplain on site along the stream known as Blake's Gill, running into the River Ada. Like all watercourses in the Low Weald, it's fed by surface runoff. In big rains, it will flood to waist height. Thakum will not be building on the floodplain, but they've argued that simply not having houses on it will preserve its function as a corridor for wildlife. But a nature corridor is not simply a strip of land devoid of buildings. For birds, mammals, insects to be able to travel freely and feed and breed here, a corridor needs to be protected from disturbance. To function properly, it has to be sufficiently broad, encompassing a rich matrix of hedges, woodland and agricultural fields, which separate the corridor from areas of pollution and high-level human activity. Even low levels of human disturbance severely reduce the ability of wildlife to feed and breed. These magnificent grown-out hedgerows and nearby scrubland are nesting habitat for endangered nightingales, yellowhammers and many other species. Over the meadows you can hear skylarks, another severely threatened bird in the UK. 3,500 houses would give between 7 to 10,000 people immediate access to all these areas. Many will have pets. The very presence of dogs is a disruption to wildlife, and domestic cats are the UK's biggest predator of birds and small mammals. These ancient woods abutting the rich floodplains are perfect habitat for bats. It is highly likely they are home to some of Europe's rarest, Becksteins and Barberstyle bats. We have colonies of them at Nep in exactly the same habitat. Detailed ecological surveys, including bat surveys, must be carried out without delay to identify the species on the site and how they're using the various habitats. Bats will be using the floodplain, hedgerows and woodland margins to travel between nesting sites. They'll be feeding on insects and nesting beneath the bark of old trees. They are highly sensitive to light and noise pollution. No amount of bat boxes provided by Thakum Homes would mitigate the impact that housing, air pollution, noise, artificial light and general disturbance will have on this site for bats. Water pollution is a serious concern. Household detergents, garden pesticides and herbicides, car washing, tyre particulates will all affect the natural water systems through runoff, killing aquatic life in the floodplains and migrating trout in the streams and washing down into the Ada itself. On-site drainage necessary on this low wheeled site and the sheer weight of concrete, tarmac and buildings will completely alter natural hydrology, impacting the ability of the gill woodlands and the floodplain to keep floodwaters back. This site has been identified by Wilder Horsham District and the Sussex Wildlife Trust as an area of high nature value, included in their draft nature recovery network proposal, measures that will be driven forward by the passing later this year of the Environment Bill. Even more exciting, Natural England have proposed NEP as a national nature reserve and are looking at making this area, including Horsham District, one of its new national nature recovery areas. Corridors running from Nep, like the arms of an octopus, will revitalise nature in the entire region, from the coast to the Surrey Hills and the St Leonard's and Ashdown forests, bringing with it benefits for wildlife, climate and human health and well-being. Already we are in discussion with landscape engineering companies about how to build and finance green infrastructure to cross roads and railways. The Buckbarn site, lying as it does adjacent to Nep, 
is a vital part of this nature recovery network. Build on it and it is gone forever. Leave it as it is and it continues as an artery pulsing with life. And with sensitive management and one day the addition of a wildlife bridge over the A24 and A272, the Buck Barn site could become a springboard for greater connectivity, the healing of our landscape and a source of local and national pride.